Hello, and welcome to the low-code process modeling and execution demo. Using BPMN, or Business Process Model and Notation, the business is able to move from modeling in a tool such as IBM Blueworks Live to execution in business automation workflow in a matter of just minutes. So are you ready to build your business process with low-code? Let's start in IBM Blueworks Live, a browser-based interface software as a service for business users to document and model their business workflows. We can describe different organizations and the goals they have, including their weight. And we can also create a number of artifacts, including a process blueprint. Let's choose HR onboarding for this demo scenario. As we diagram out our milestones and activities, you can see here everything is kept up to date from the outline view on the left to the diagram view on the right. This discovery map allows us to understand our processes at a high level and also adjust them as needed through drag and drop. Once the entire diagram is built, we can easily start to document additional detail and metadata about our workflow, a key differentiator of a purpose-built tool such as IBM Blueworks Live. We can automatically generate a diagram based on the metadata already entered and using a simple BPMN and palette, we can model additional gateways and other transitions, also adjusting the diagram to look exactly how we would like. But IBM Blueworks Live is much more than just a diagramming tool. Additional metadata is easy to document behind the diagram itself, labeling the type of activities, choosing meaningful colors, even adding a robotic swim lane to deal with RPA, or robotic process automation. Once the diagram is complete, we can do very compelling analysis within the tool. For example, visualizing system access directly on the diagram and an outline view on the left, cycle time analysis to determine hotspots within our workflow and adjust as needed. Now that this particular activity is provisioned by a robot, we know that there is near zero wait time. Also, we can compare cycle time with additional data such as work and wait time. Here we can see that delivery of the materials is both high in work and wait time, knowing exactly where to address the issue. And finally, for this demonstration, problems is another area we might want to analyze and locate issues within the process that need to be resolved. Now, let's create a version 1.0 snapshot in Blueworks Live and move to IBM Business Automation Workflow Center to begin automation and execution of this HR process. Again, starting from scratch, we will create a new process application and import the Blueworks Live directly using the built-in integration. Once imported, additional elements are created directly and we have our process diagram imported into the solution automatically for us, including all documentation already entered in Blueworks Live. Now let's hit the play button and immediately play this process without any change. The picture truly is the process. We can enter data in the first task, refresh, move on to the second task, and see that data passed. With no user interface creation or editing, we use an auto-generated inline task. Now let's extend that user interface and add additional detail, all with a low-code builder that can be extended as needed with additional elements. Here we're making the fields now required instead of optional or read-only. And let's go ahead and change the buttons. You know, I'm not very interested in the boring blue, but I would like, let's say, some green or some orange, along with some additional sizing and changes to icons, all using configuration dropdowns and no code. Hitting the play button again shows us the interface with the changes that we made. And let's move back to our process level to do a full playback. Seeing the same new interface and being able to enter data into the fields as we desired. Next step, let's expose this process to our end users directly in the portal. Bringing up the new portal interface, we can see here we have the HR onboarding process added to the left hand side launch, and we can launch that process and add a new task to the bottom of our interface that we can claim using the same user interface that we generated during the build phase. So what you've seen in a matter of minutes is using the IBM Blueworks Live and IBM Business Automation Workflow toolset to collaborate, model, and execute a business process. The benefits of IBM Business Automation Workflow are clear through increased automation on a single workflow platform, 
driving straight through processing with easy to use integrations all in context, and scaling end to end improvement through tools like analytics that will allow your organization to achieve higher revenue per employee. Thank you for watching the demo.